I presume that you didn't expect the attention that that Vanilla S has, has had over this very short period of time. What has it been like going from having this distro that you basically just made for yourself to it now being this thing where I, I don't know if I have the article, but I remember someone writing this blog post it was something like Vanilla OS is the future of Linux distros or something like that. Um, what is what has that experience been like having this suddenly popular distro? Uh, I'm still uh, mm, trying to figure out what is uh, which is my mood because. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Luca Di Maio, which is the Distrobox developer, is also my friend, mm -hmm. and uh, it's also involved in the Vanilla OS development. And he started writing me, oh, the, the register uh, made a good article talking about uh, Vanilla OS, and they, and they was, oh, nice. And just uh, some days ago, oh, ZDNet, uh, do the same. And, and this one made a lot of video uh, which um, is saying uh, uh, Vanilla OS is the future, is this, is this, uh, and I was, oh, it's fine, nice. <laughs> okay. It's a way zone, but uh, it's just my, my, my project. I mean, it, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a way zone, I mean, but I, I'm not ready for this, probably. <laughs> because uh, the, the register is a big name. The, yeah, absolutely. ZDNet is uh, another big name. I remember that uh, um, I was reading it uh, when I was a child, mm. and I just turned it into a 2019. So, uh, thanks. <laughs> well, I don't think the attention is going to stop anytime soon. There is... There, uh, now that a lot of applications are starting to be available as a flat pack, there is this growing interest in the idea of an immutable Linux distro, which I hadn't heard this term prior to maybe a year ago, but now I, I know a lot of people who use Fedora Silverblue and a lot of people now are really interested in seeing sort of that same style, but with an Ubuntu base instead. And I, I'm curious to see where this goes.